Welcome back to Around Our E-Table, or perhaps we should rename it Around Our V-Table, given that our content lately has been about our 2020 Coach from Beyond camper van. Alex and Deanna here, and today we're going to talk about sanitizing the water system. Our previous video was all about dewinterizing it, and now we have the plumbing all with nice fresh water after removing the RV antifreeze we've had in all winter. It's time to sanitize the fresh water tank and all the uh, the pipes and hoses that are within the system. So join us as we desanitize Doranya. I completed the dewinterization and set all the valves in the system according to how it would be if I were just to drive away now. So now I'm going to undo what I did a few minutes ago, specifically with the Truma hot water heater bypass. I'm going to bypass the Truma hot water heater because we don't want bleach going through the Truma. We're back underneath the kitchen cabinets. And in order to bypass the Truma hot water heater, we're going to close off the fresh water input, which is this valve here. We'll take it from being parallel to the supply hose, the supply pipe, and put it perpendicular. That will close the valve. We're going to close the valve on the red output pipe. And we're going to open the bypass on the curved white hose. Now the trim is bypassed. So we can safely run uh, our sanitization fluids through the rest of the van without disturbing the fragile nature of the inside of the Truma. I'm sure it's not that fragile given the heat it puts out, but it certainly doesn't like antifreeze and it doesn't like bleach. I put about 125 ml or a half a cup of bleach into this uh, measuring cup and diluted it with water. So now I'm going to pour it into the, uh, the portable water hose so the portable water hose can get a little bit of sanitization as well. And that hose is attached to the pressure regulator and then to an elbow to keep the pressure, to keep the strain off the, uh, the attachment here. Uh, Deanna is going to hold up part of the hose while I go in and attach this end. Um, and then we'll turn it on and we'll fill the fresh water tank. So now we have this end attached, we have the water attached to the faucet, and we're turning it on. Now we can watch the water level rising on the tank and check that way where it's at. We can also see how it's recording inside. Now we're not exactly on a flat driveway here, although I flattened uh, the van as much as possible. And according to this, we are now at 40% full. Now the other way to know that your tank is full is this hose here is an overflow. So if too much water gets into the tank, it'll overflow, overflow through that and end up heading out the low point drain. Now we don't have to completely fill the tank, but for the first time around I'm going to. We've never had this tank full before. And uh, I'm going to watch the overflow, make sure it, uh, it works appropriately, it doesn't get things wet inside here. As you can see, overflowing. We'll go back and turn off the water. Now even though we're full, and overflowing the fresh reading says 90% or 85% now. And I think that's uh, partially because these sensors are never accurate and also partially because we're not on a flat surface. So our next step is to get some of that sanitization fluid through the system. And we're going to just turn on the cold water, which isn't going to do anything because I need to turn on the water pump. 
Let's go back up here. Water pump's here. When it's gray, it's off. And when it's blue, it's on. So we should get some pressure now. There we go. Now we'll run this water until I can smell the bleach. And there we go. I'm going to run it through the hot water pipes. My nose isn't the most sensitive to bleach. So now we're going to come into the bathroom. And we're going to do the same thing here. I'll do the cold water first. That's good. Now we'll run the hot water. And when I smell the bleach, that can be turned off. And now we'll run some through. Okay, now we'll let it sit on the way to being done here. Right now, I have the low point drain for the tank open and the tank is draining. The bleach solution is sat there and done its job for quite some time and um, I'm draining it now and I'm going to refill it with, uh, with rinse water. In the meanwhile, I rehooked the water supply to the city water connection and ran a lot of rinse water through the inside pipes, both cold and hot, and uh, the toilet. And that would rinse out most of the, I hope, most of the bleach solution and have the system ready for uh, for when I can get this fresh tank fully rinsed. Oh, we stopped dripping. The fresh water tank is as empty as it's going to get right now. So I'm going to turn off the drain and fill the tank about half full again and go for a drive, which time I will empty the black and gray tanks that I filled with the sanitizer. Well, the last part of the sanitation process is actually dumping the holding tanks. So I took a short drive to the closest free dump station that we have here, which is at a water pollution control plant. Dump the holding tanks. But the secondary purpose for going was to actually take that, have that rinse water that is in the fresh water tanks and slosh it around to get that rinse water coating all these um, the sides and the top of the, uh, the fresh water tank so that that would continue to rinse everything and would leave as little residue of bleach as possible. Now after going and dumping that, I had one more thing to do and that doesn't relate directly to the, uh, the sanitation process but it relates more back to the winterization or the dewinterization process. The Truma water heater uh, was emptied as part of the winterization. And it's still empty, only because I didn't refill it after uh, dewinterizing because I was going to be doing the sanitation. So what I need to do is refill the Truma water tank with its 10 liters or so of capacity. And in doing that, I will be bleeding out the air that's currently in the Truma. I'll be doing that as soon as I get back home. Turn the water supply back on. I'll turn on the water here and bleed the air from the Truma. There's about, I think, two and a half gallons or so of water in the Truma tank, which is close to 10 liters. Now it's going on. Now I'll open the bathroom faucet as well. Obviously not 
not hot yet because the trim has not been turned on. But we're looking good. And now, we'll check that everything's working. We'll come to the Truma control. Hit the button to get to the menu. Go to the thermometer and water and push the button. And we're going to turn this on to hot. And it's on gas, which is the fastest way to uh, get things heated up. When you're using a trim with gas, one of the easiest ways to find out if it's working is to listen to the exhaust. Check the hot water. Takes a few moments to run through the system. And it's coming out nice and warm. So we're good with the trim. And that's it. We're dewinterized. We're sanitized. All we have to do now is wait for the pandemic all clear and we can get back on the road.